Search your wall. Call a good Mercutio. Nay, I'll conjure too. Romeo, humans, madman, passion, lover. What is on you? <laughs> he just had scars that never felt wound. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? The east, and Juliet is a sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who's already sick and pale with grief. That thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her festal livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off. Oh, it is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. She speaks, yet she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses. I will answer it. I am too bold. It is not to me she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heaven, having some business, to entreat her eyes to twinkle in their spheres till they return. What if her eyes were there? They in her head. The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars as daylight doth the lamp. Her eyes in heaven would through the airy region stream so bright that birds would sing and think it were not night. See how she, see how she leans her hand upon her cheek. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. Ah, oh, me. She mm. speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. What's in a name, that which we call a rose, by any other word, would smell as sweet? So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes, without that title. Romeo doth thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. What man art thou? That thus bescreen the night, so stumblest on my counsel. By a name, I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself, because it is an enemy to thee. Had I it written, I would tear the word. My ears have not yet drunk a hundred words of thy tongue's uttering, yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair maid, if either thee dislike. How camest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light wings did I o'erperch these walls, for stony limits cannot hold love out, and what love can do, that dares love attempt. Therefore thy kinsmen are no stop to me. If they see thee, they will murder thee. Alack, there lies more peril in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look thou but sweet, and I am proof against their enmity. I would not for the world they saw thee here. I have night's cloak to hide me from their eyes. And but thou love me, let them find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death prorogued wanting of thy love. Oh, dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thy word. Yet if thou swearest, thou mayest prove false. A lover's perjuries, they say, Jove laughs. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I vow, that tips with silver all these words by the moon. 
and constant moon, the monthly changes in her circle or lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all, or if thou wilt, swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I will believe thee. If my heart's dear love... Well, do not swear, although I joy in thee. I have no joy of this contract tonight. Sweet good night. If this bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous flower when next we meet. Good night, good night, sweet repose and rest. Come to thy heart as that within my breast. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it. Madam! I hear some noise within. Dear love, adieu. Madam! I come anon, good nurse. Sweet Montague, stay but a little. I will come again. Oh, blessed, blessed night. I'm a fear being a knight. All this is but a dream. Too flattering sweet to be substantial. Three words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed. If that thy bent of love be honorable, thy purpose marriage, send me word tomorrow by one that I'll procure to come to thee, where and what time thou wilt perform the right, and all my fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my war lord, throughout the world. Madam! I come anon. If thou meanest not well, I do beseech thee. Madam! By and by I come to cease thy strife and leave me to my grief. Tomorrow will I send. So thrive my soul. A thousand times good night. Romeo, my sweet, what o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? By the hour of nine. Oh, I will not fail. Just twenty years till then. I forgot why I did call thee back. Then let me stand here till thou remember it. Then I shall forget to have thee still stand there, remembering how I love thy company. And I'll still stay to have thee still forget. A thousand times good night. Good night. Hence will I to my ghostly friar's close cell, his help to crave and my dear half to tell. So sweet salute me, young son. It argues a mistempered head to bid good morrow to thy bed. Or if not so, then I acted it right. Our Romeo hath not been in bed tonight. That last is true. The sweet arrest was mine. God pardon sin. Was thou with Rosaline? Rosaline? My ghostly father, no. I forgot that name and that name's woe. I'll tell thee ere thou askest me again. I've been feasting with mine enemy, whereon a sudden one hath wounded me. That's by me wounded. Both are remedies within thy help and holy physic lies. Be plain, good son, and homely in thy drift. Riddling confession binds but riddling shrift. Then plainly know that my heart's dear love is set on the fair daughter of rich Capulet. When and where and how we met, we wooed, and we made exchange of vow. I'll tell thee as we pass, but this I pray that thou consent to marry us today. Holy Saint Francis, what a change is here. Did Rosalind, that thou didst love so dear, so soon forsaken, and art thou changed? Pronounce the sentence then. Women may fall when there is no strength in men. I pray thee chide me not. Her I love now doth grace for grace and love for love allow. The other did not so. But to alter thy affection for something. In 
one respect all thy assistant be. For this alliance may so happy prove to turn your household's rancor to pure love. Oh, let us hence. I stand on sudden haste. Wisely and slow, they stumble that run fast. Here comes Romeo, here comes Romeo. Ah, Signor Romeo, bonjour. You gave us a counterfeit fairly last night. Good morrow to you both. What counterfeit did I give you? The slip, sir, the slip. Can you not concede? <sighs> Pardon, good Mercutio. My business was, in, was great. And in such a case as mine, a man may strain courtesy. Now art thou sociable, now art thou Romeo, now art thou without art, but art as well as by nature. <laughs> he is goodly gear. <laughs> a sail, a sail. <laughs> My bad, Peter. <laughs> Good Peter, to hide her face for her fans, the fairer of the two. <laughs> Good ye. Good morrow, gentlemen. One gentlewoman. God hath made himself to mar. <laughs> By my troth, it is well said. Gentlemen, can any of you tell me where I may find the young? Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, but young Romeo will be older when you have found him than he was when you sought him. I'm the youngest of that name, for fault of oars. If you be he, sir, I desire some confidence with you. She will invite him to some supper. <laughs> Rather than I think she will have him for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo, would you like to come to my Sarandrio? <laughs> I, I'll follow you. Farewell, ancient lady. Farewell, lady, lady, lady. Oh, scurvy knave! And thou must stand by too and suffer every day to you the at his pleasure. I saw no man use you at his pleasure. No. If I had, my weapon would have quickly been out. I would. I dare draw as soon as any other man. If I see occasion in good quarrel, and the law on my side. <laughs> <laughs> now, a full god, I'm so vexed that every part about me quivers. <laughs> Pray you, sir, a word. <clears throat> As I told you, my mistress bid me inquire you out. What she bid me say, I will keep to myself. But first, let me tell you, if you should lead her into a fool's paradise, as they say, it were a very gross kind of behavior, as they say, <laughs> for the gentleman is young. Therefore, if you should deal double with her, truly it were an ill thing to be offered to any gentlewoman, and very weak dealing, very weak <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Nurse, commend me to thy lady and mistress. I protest unto thee. Good heart and eye, faith, I will tell her as much. Lord, Lord, she will be a joyful woman. Bitter device, some means to come to shrift this afternoon. Mm -hmm. And there she shall at Friar Lawrence's cell be shrived and married. Oh. Here's for thy pains. No, truly, sir, not a penny. Go to, I say you shall. No, no. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this afternoon, sir, she shall be there. Nurse, commend me to thy lady. I a thousand times. Pizza! 